Last time we covered the top five best episodes of Ruby, and now it's time to cover the worst this show has to offer. Oh boy, here we go. Let's just get this over with. Mom? I remember seeing the preview for this episode on Rooster Teeth's Twitter and getting super excited. And then... So what's going on with the council? Why? They're the ones that matter. 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 There is no beating Salem. There is no beating Salem. There is no beating Did you bring your weapons? What? Dear Lord. First of all, what the hell are Crow and his adopted children doing here? They suspected Leo was shady, so why come here at all? Granted, they were smart enough to bring their weapons, but Weiss didn't make a tiny knight summon? And they brought Ozpin? Second, the villain's plan is absolutely moronic. Yes, the idea of having a huge clash between all the heroes and villains in one place is a great idea, but the way it's set up and executed fails on virtually every level. Cinder could have just killed Vernal immediately, gone to the relic, and left quietly, and I would have easily forgiven this if she actually went after the one fucking person she's wanted revenge on for an unspecified and slightly retconned amount of time. Works in theory, but fails in execution pretty much fits most of the issues in this show, and the Battle of Haven episodes are a perfect microcosm of this. Out of the four, this is definitely the worst, especially with the amount of time the villains spend expositing, and the even more atrocious amount of time the heroes just stand there without drawing their weapons and gasping dramatically, then allowing themselves to be divided. The only saving graces of this episode are the slow, ambient intro with everyone walking into Haven, even though their reasoning is stupid, along with Jean's attempt at avenging Pyrrha, only to put more people he loves into danger. But given Cinder gives no reason for targeting Weiss specifically, other than her being an easy target in the moment, and the fact that this only compounds the show's weird fascination in turning Jean into the main character instead of Ruby, that comes with an asterisk about the size of my anger over this fucking episode. They're the ones that matter. They're the ones that matter. While I do like the cute interactions in this episode, Ren's forced monologue on how much we've all grown is just so cringeworthy. Actually, Ren has pretty much been turned into a cringeworthy exposition machine this entire volume, which is a shame because he and Nora up until this point were unharmed by the show's bad writing. They even got a genuinely fantastic storyline last volume. So what happened? Nora mostly survived coming out a fucking queen, but since we have no cute Renora moments, and she also has this stupid fucking line. They, they really are mad. Shut up. Add another asterisk. But the real thing that kills the episode, other than the fact we're halfway through the volume and almost nothing has happened, is the big, oh no, you turned them into birds scene. Why is this the big issue? Crow and Raven consented to this, and they can shapeshift at will. Not to mention, Oz is possessing a 14-year-old boy. Why does no one find that even slightly questionable? That scene is just abysmal enough to tank this episode for me, with the only good things being the cute interactions between friends, minus the monologue of cringe, Crow being a bicon, and the villain scene at the very end. But even then... I found the source of the ticking! It's a pipe bomb! Yay! Raven, we have a problem. Salem. Bring me my helmet. Yep, it led us here. Despite the fact this season's intro was called The Triumph, there is no winning for anyone in this volume. This episode is just so painfully boring. When the thumbnail surfaced, everyone was excited for a maiden off. At long last, something would happen. And then nothing happened. I want my brother dead. Crow? That's right. You have yourself a deal. Correction! Dumb, stupid, boring, nonsensical things happened. Again, 
The villain's plan is beyond idiotic, but this episode also gave birth to the worst line of the series. Salem only uses people until they are no longer useful. No, I will never let that go. I will use it at every fucking opportunity because I'm never going to let Miles and Carrie live this fucking line down. Even the Blake scenes are a massive letdown. Things actually happened in her story last episode as the White Fang launched their assault, and all we get here are slow, dull fight scenes. A lot of asterisks in this video. And a bullshit cliffhanger. And that's saying something because this show thrives off bullshit cliffhangers. Also, is it me or do the colors of the bandit camp just seem to disappear in a lot of these shots? Almost as if the models lost their colors in the render and no one caught it. How? 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 John gets home so late? He's become rather scarce ever since he's been fraternizing with Cardi. I'm sure our leader knows exactly what he's doing. Hmm. I guess so. Oh god. Fuck the John arc. This entire arc would be on this list, honestly. And no. I didn't mean that as a pun. This doesn't deserve puns! But given this episode in particular is the worst among the Jean episodes, and is a culmination of all their problems, here we is. First of all, we're focusing on Jean way more than any of the main four, and we're not even learning about Pyrrha, or getting a sense of Team Juniper's dynamic. Instead, we just keep getting told to feel bad for poor Jean. It is so frustrating how good a character Jean is in theory, but in execution, he's so infuriating. Like most of the characters in the show, actually. But the lesson this gave Miles and Carrie is to never write character arcs like this ever again. Now, that, that's not the lesson you should have walked away with. I just... I, I give up. Cardin is a worthless bully archetype with a terrible voice. Jean barely interacts with his teammates even after this. Just f fuck. Fuck this, ep fuck this episode. Fuck these episodes. This one, mainly. Fuck this. But at least Foreverfall is pretty full. Even if it's just the Emerald Forest made red, I, I still like the aesthetic, okay? I will take whatever fucking wins I can get at this point. Yeah. Uh. We're changing our mission. Everyone on board! While I enjoyed Breach, given how heavily disliked it is among the fandom, I felt I was obligated to mention it somewhere in this video. It eradicates the threat of the Grimm and how easily the students managed to save the city, especially Team Coffee. As much as I love them, god they murdered the fucking sticks in power scaling. I always figured this finale was meant to be unsatisfying, it was meant to leave you wanting more and feeling something wasn't right keeping you on edge till everything fell apart in Volume 3. However, it left most of the fandom on edge, not out of fear, but out of frustration and anger. So, whoops. Also, they just pretend the post credit scene with Raven never happened, and that will forever piss me the fuck off. Round 1 is the weakest premiere of any volume. Welcome to Haven is close, but where that was just filled with useless filler and nothing happening, like the rest of Volume 5, Round 1 is actively blech. The fight scene between Ruby and Auburn is hideous to look at. Even the moment of Team Ruby coming together to kick ass feels unearned and irrelevant. The reason it's not on the list is because I enjoyed most of the other character interactions, more Blake cat humor that might be considered racist to Faunus, but I enjoyed anyway because the White Fang needs a fucking reason to exist because the show still sucks at showing Faunus discrimination, and that opening scene with Ruby at her mother's grave, which is genuinely fantastic. It's just a shame it leads into... If this is your first time watching, allow us to break down the rules. Don't forget it. And Known By Its Song is so frustrating. It promised us answers, and finally got two of our main four caught up on the actual plot, which they've been left out on for five years now. But nothing Raven said was new. We knew everything she said already. Her scene should have started on her already having told the girls about Oz, the Maidens, and Salem, and their disbelief to either lead us into actually new information, or even possibly a stark flashback. But no. No, we, we get repeated exposition. Thanks, show. And now, the worst episode of Ruby is... Most of you are probably scratching your heads. This episode? Really? It's so forgettable and seems 
pretty much harmless. That's why it's number one. When people talk about Volume 3, they usually mention how boring and dull the first half of it is, and this is its apotheosis. Both fights this episode have nothing to do with the plot or character arcs we care about. Yes, the Juniper strategy humor is cute, but... We're in the middle of a fight! And we're in the middle of a conversation! What don't you get about that? This is an issue that stuck, sadly. Also, the fights are horrible. Slow, choppy, and with characters standing around letting themselves get hurt. Wonderful. Just... Wonderful. So yeah, there you go, the worst Ruby has to offer. But please do not think from this that I hate the show. Because I don't. If I did, I wouldn't be making all these fucking Ruby videos. I'm honest because I love the show. And I honestly really am optimistic about Volume 6. I don't think it'll be anything fantastic, but I'm... I have this feeling it's going to be a breath of fresh air in some way. And if I'm wrong, I will readily admit that and make much more... <sighs> Miles and Carrie will know my wrath, basically. Anyways, if you'd like to stay tuned for more Ruby content, especially with Volume 6 right around the corner, feel free to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because YouTube hates creators. And if you need more proof that I actually enjoy the show, check out my best episodes of Ruby video. Likewise, if you'd like to further support the channel, you can pledge on Patreon, pick up some Teespring merch, or check out my book links in the description below. I'm the Unicorn of War, and this has been a shit show. Like, all these fucking episodes.